everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Twitty and I recently posted a Chanel haul that you all loved. Um, I'll link the video up above here. If you haven't gotten a chance to watch it, I highly recommend that you check it out because I featured four new Chanel bags that I added into my collection. And you guys really, really, really loved the fourth bag that I added, which is actually this cutie right here, it is a Chanel phone holder, so it's not actually a handbag, but it is a small leather good, and it's supposed to be for your cell phone, but I use it as a handbag. I feel like it packs a huge punch. It allows me to keep all of my daily essentials in it, and so I figured I would do an in-depth review and what's in my bag for you guys, but before we get into that, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please make sure that you hit that subscribe button. Also, please give this video a huge Huge thumbs up it helps me out a lot I want to give a huge thank you to you guys that have been watching my videos supporting me liking and subscribing we just hit 1,000 subscribers which is huge that was a huge milestone for me so I want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for supporting me and if you aren't yet a part of the community it's okay if you're non-committal at least just give me a thumbs up because it really helps me in supporting my channel so thank you guys and let's get back into this top handle phone holder review and what's in my bag. All right, so before we go through everything that I keep in this little cutie, let's first talk about some of the specs. So I'll put the dimensions on the screen so that you can get an idea of them. As I mentioned, this is a phone holder, so it's not a wallet on chain. It's very similar to a wallet on chain, but it does have different dimensions. I previously have not been interested in a wallet on chain by Chanel but I saw this and I fell in love with it and I fell in love with it because of the little top handle so to me this looks like the perfect little mini bag um, it looks like it's supposed to be a bag to me instead of a wallet on a chain if that makes sense so this bag is full lambskin leather and it has the gold Chanel hardware and then again that little top handle I just feel like adds some versatility so I can wear it top handle I can also wear it as a shoulder bag and I can also wear it crossbody because the chain is long enough to wear as a crossbody bag. And so I am only 5'3", barely, and so the chain hits me perfectly where when I'm wearing this crossbody, it just hits my hip at a perfect length and um, it's super comfortable for me. And then when I am going out at night or just a when I wanna dress up the bag some, I will wear it on my shoulder. And it's so easy to convert a Chanel bag um, to a shoulder bag. All you have to do is open up the flap, take your chain, cross it around, put it under the flap, and then there you have it. You have the cutest little shoulder bag and I just love that. I feel like this looks like the most adorable little mini bag and you can't even guess that it's a phone holder. So the first thing that I did for this phone holder is I actually purchased a bag shaper and I love getting bag shapers for almost all of my bags because it adds structure to the bag. Um, but especially in this case, since it is a phone holder, um, you can see it's quite wide here, which I think also helps make it look like a proper handbag and that's because I put in this little space shaper. Without that, the bag would actually fold into itself kind of like an accordion and it would be flat and not appear to be as spacious as it is. But by having the space shaper in it, when I wear it, it looks like I'm just wearing a cute little mini bag. Here is the bag shaper that I purchased. They come in so many different colors. Since the interior of my bag is brown, I thought it'd be really cute to get the brown one so you can't even tell that it's in there. And it's so simple, but it makes a huge difference. As you can see, this is what the bag looks like without the shaper. It's um, a little more narrow. I keep mine stored with the shaper, so it's kind of like uh, staying in place. But when I first purchased the bag, it actually looked like this. So you guys can see that is a huge difference from how it looks when you have the shaper in it. I'll link the one that I use in the description box below in case you're interested in getting one for yourself as well. 
And then finally for the pricing, I'll put the pricing that I paid on the screen. Keep in mind that I did purchase this in Europe, so I'll put the price from my receipt in Euros and I'll also convert it to USD. The price will be different um, depending on the country that you're in, but this should at least give you a ballpark range. All right, so now let's get into the bag itself and what I have inside of it. So when you open the bag, it opens up to this beautiful chocolate brown color. I love that Chanel did the two-tone with this, and I just think it's absolutely fabulous, especially for the fall season. And so the bag also has a zipper pocket here in the front, which I haven't quite used yet, but you could use that for any change or bills um, as well then as you can see this tie have everything stored in the bag and so it holds quite a bit and it's also easily organized nothing's like about to fall out or bulging out of the bag so the very first thing that i have is my wallet and then my house keys and so i use um the Louis Vuitton key clay so my keys are on my little keychain wallet but they both fit in here perfectly and then next I have three essentials I have to have first is a mini MAC lipstick I love getting the MAC minis for any of my tiny bags and mini bags these fit perfectly and this is my favorite lip color of all time it is velvet teddy I also have some Carmex and then I have a sample of the Chanel hand cream. And so my key to anytime I'm getting like samples anywhere or free gifts with purchase, I always keep them. I keep them in a drawer in my closet because I just never know when I'm gonna have another bag or a mini bag where these would be perfect. So if you ever get any little samples of like hand cream, perfume, lip glosses, whatever, hold on to those because they are perfect for filling your mini bag. Then I have a mirror I won't show the full side here you can kind of see this is the mirror but it's flat that's it it's not a compact it's just a flat mirror I picked this up a few years ago from Target and I love this as well for my mini bags because it takes up no space it's just a mirror on one side and it's completely flat so it just lays in the bags perfectly a pack of tissues I love these as well you can pick these up at Target the dollar store um, it's tissues but they're completely flat and then they open up like a little wallet as well and then you just pull your tissues out and these are great because you always need tissues when you're on the go and then I also always keep either gum or mints in this case I have both so I have these cute 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 little tic tac minis I think you can probably get these on Amazon or just like online but I purchased them at an airport I picked these up and I thought they were so cute and I just keep them in my purse and they are refillable so even as you run out you can add more little tic tacs and mints in here and then I also keep gum so I just have like one little stick of gum in there as well and then last but not least I have all these little like packets in here so the first one is a hand sanitizer I love these little packs um, you just open it up and then there's um, a, like a full serving of hand sanitizer liquid in here and again this is great for my mini bags because I don't have to worry about like a larger bottle taking up space in the bag so I love this and it's like single use and you just throw it out and it's done I also keep these these are flossers and they're individually wrapped I have to have flossers in any of my bags um, it's just it's an essential it's a necessity for me and so I love that I found these cute little like individually wrapped ones that take up virtually like no space in my luggage and you can also pick these up on Amazon I have a wet wipe because you may need to actually wipe and clean your hands as well and then lastly I just have a towelette from lens crafter to wipe or clean any of my sunglasses so that's everything that's in the bag. As you can see, the bag is completely empty. Um, so within here, you have that one little zipper slot that you can use as well. And then there's also a little back pocket as well. And you can slide credit cards, IDs um, in there. And so as you guys saw, I still carry my key clay wallet. But if you don't want to carry a wallet, you can absolutely slide your cards and your cash and your coins into the slip pocket and or this front zipper pocket. And that will also free up a ton of room for you to be able to put 
something else in that place as well. All right, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you found it very helpful. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked this video and then also please make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss any future content from me, especially if you love luxury. All right, I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.